Hey guys, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to explore a string of G-code that will train your Ender 3 to feed you and not eat you. Let's step inside this episode of Frankie Prince. Okay, Ender owners, are you guys tired of watching your prints slowly slip to the back of the machine upon completion? Only to have to stick your hands through wires, tubes, and metal extrusions just to get to your print? <laughs> Frankie Hubbard, world famous flying junkies. And I gotta give a big shout out to Jason over at 3D Print Canada. His video was the missing link to helping me understand a string of G-code that allowed my Ender 3 to feed me and not eat me. I beg your pardon? Feed me! Tui, you talked. You, you opened your trap. You, you sing and you sing. Feed me, crab on. Feed me now. Jason has great insight into the Ender 3 and has been quietly dropping us with knowledge on this amazing little machine. Hi, I'm Jason with 3D Printing Canada. And today, we're going to do something a little fun. Make sure to hit the links below and pay him a visit. You may even want to subscribe. There's a wealth of information there. On the screen and in the links below, I've provided a remix of Jason's G-Code. This remix gets rid of some of the issues I was having on my Ender 3 after running his code. For one, I'm using a glass bed that doesn't exactly run edge to edge. What happens with Jason's G-Code is, it makes two lines up and down the very edge of the bed. I found that this caused the plastic to squirt everywhere, making sort of a mess. In this example, I'm using PLA. I noticed the nozzle kept clogging up. It was literally air printing after adding his G-code. This was due to the length of travel between the start extrusion and where the actual print begins. I noticed the plastic was getting cold during this travel. I could actually see it snap as it attempted to begin to print. I got rid of this feature totally since I use skirts to achieve sort of the same effect. I think a skirt is optimal since it will help you gauge the first layer better. What I did like about Jason's G-Code was that it provided a way for your build plate to feed you your print. This comes in real handy for cool down and print removal. The last bit of greatness I took from Jason's G-Code was the ability to make your Ender talk to you. Shall we play a game? Oh. You're essentially <laughs> manipulating words on the screen by adding a, a string of text to the G-Code. How about global thermal nuclear war. Wouldn't you prefer a good game of chess? <laughs> Break out the laptop and fire up the coffee. It's time to hack some G-code. I'm going to flash a series of screenshots. Pause the screen as they appear or click the link below to download them. I've also provided my personal G-code in the description. This should make it easy for you to copy and paste in to your profile for personal use. I'm really enjoying my time here in 3D printing land. I'm not an expert, but I do hope this video helped you out and would appreciate if you subscribe and hit the bell for future updates. Yeah, so big thank you and shout out to Jason over at 3D Print Canada. It's your willingness to give back to the community that keeps guys like me going, man. Thank you for all you do, my brother. This one's for you. Peace. Frankie Hovers, I'm out of here, people.